and Karen, the Carpenters, they will be with us in just a moment. And Bernie Clifton will be taking your calls on 018118055. I've got Richard and Karen dropping in. In just a second, they'll be sitting right behind me. But just to get in the Carpenters mood, here's a rather nice piece of music for you. Whoa, yes, wait a minute, Mr. Postman. Wait, 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 sounds indeed and Karen is with me this morning I've just been talking to Richard who incidentally is not feeling so well what, what, what exactly is wrong with him I'm not exactly sure he um, is feeling a little odd in his stomach so he, uh... have you been traveling a lot recently uh, we just started about two weeks ago mm -hmm. we've been to Paris and to uh, Amsterdam and now London and back to Germany then back to France and then to Rio right and for all Carpenters fans Richard is here he's here in the studio but he's just gone off for a, for a quiet cold drink and uh, if he feels better he'll slip in in a moment do you, do you find that uh, traveling around is, is tiring? Um, if you keep it to a certain amount of time, like this tour is going to be a month, and that's really enough. Mm. And Because uh, if you're with people that you're having a good time with, it's, it's fine. And luckily, that's been the, the situation over the last 11 years. Yeah. Uh, so it really, it's, it, some nights you're, you're more tired than others, but it's, it's usually a lot of fun. Do you tour with, with the same people? Yes. You do? Yeah. The group's so you been together for 11 years. How many musicians do you have? On stage, there are 11. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, seven. And when we travel uh, with roadies and lighting guys and all that, there's like 28. 
to 32. And of course, in some respects, you're back because it's all been very quiet for ages. Here, here I am. Uh, yeah, we, we decided um, a couple years ago to take a little time off because we've been going straight and steady for eight and a half years. Mm. And uh, we decided to take a vacation. And then for the last year, year and a half, we've been working on uh, the new album, Made in America. Was this a musical break? I mean, did you d feel that maybe you needed a slight change in the style of music? No, we just wanted to sit down. Right. But, uh, you know, after a while, for that's a long time, because we never had taken a vacation that entire time. So what has produced the return? Well, I, we just got tired of sitting down, so now we're standing up again. <laughs> uh, Pick up the yellow phone, Karen. We've got uh, somebody on the line here. It's uh, Michelle. Hello, Michelle. Hello, Noel. Hello, you're through to Karen Carpenter. What would you like to Hi. ask her? Um, hello, Karen. Hi. I'd like to ask you when you first realised that a singing career was what you wanted to do. Well, that didn't happen until I was about 16 years old because um, I didn't realize that I could sing or play the drums before 16 until I got into high school. And then when that started to happen, that was immediate. I wanted to do that. Okay, thanks very much for your question. Leslie Hi. Campbell's on the line now. Leslie, hello. Hello. Good Hi. morning to you. What's your question for Karen? Um, what age were you when you started singing? How did you get into show business? Well, like I mentioned a second ago, it was about 16 years old. And um, I decided that I wanted to sing because uh, Richard had always been musical since the time that he was very tiny. And um, I always, and still do, idolized him, and I wanted to do everything that he did. So he um, started playing the piano when he was about 11 or 12, and he started having groups and things. And then, uh, like I mentioned, when I was in high school, I decided to get out of geometry and get into choir, and I got out of gym, so I got into marching band. <laughs> it's better worked out better this way. I never would have made a professional geometrist. Then. But that's so, the way it happened. That's the progression. Okay. Thanks a lot for your call. Bye. Is it Nick on the phone now? Nick? Yes, that's right. Hello, Nick. What's your question? Um, good morning, Neil. Good morning, Karen. Good morning. Um, a question as a, a big fan of yours. Oh, um, thank you. Is there any chance of a British tour soon? Oh, there's a large, large chance. We yeah. are, um, when we go home after this tour, we're going to uh, put the group back together, and we hope to be in the UK about six to eight months from now. Oh, super. And just as a quickie, can I know your, your favorite track that you and Richard have recorded? Of all, of the last, of all our albums? Of all, all your albums. Well, I think before it, it was um, Goodbye to Love or Close to You, but now, because it's my own song, Because We Are In Love, which is the wedding song that my brother wrote for me and my husband, it's called Because We Are In Love. Fine, super tool. Thank okay, you. thanks Thank a lot. You. Thank you. Talking of the album, you've obviously brought it along as uh, part yeah. of the swap. We have two albums, two pictures. Autograph. Oh, of course, and Astro Wars. Astro Wars. Now, I haven't heard of Astro Wars. This what? is like... Um, we can pick it up on, on well, the camera there. Can you explain it? It's kind of like Space Invaders. And you... Uh, shh. Anyway, it, um, it has these little things here. Where are they? I've got it. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. Beep, 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 beep. You go, and it shoots and it kills things. It's terrific. It makes a lot of noise. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, well, it's, it's a lot of, why isn't it? Surely good. It's great. You want to play it? No, thanks. I don't like killing things. No, uh, well, it's just very innocent little things. Do you play it when you're sort of uh, on tour? Have you got a yeah. spare moment? Oh, yeah. This goes around the group. In fact, we, we brought three of them with us, and this is one of them. And uh, the only times it gets Super a little game. distracting is on a plane.